Screencasting means recording a video of what's happening on your computer monitor with perhaps your voice as an accompanying audio track. You can create a dynamic tutorial demonstration that shows students or coworkers where to find things, what to click, and what to expect when performing tasks on their computer or on the internet. People can view these videos on their own time and as many times as they need to. Obviously, you're watching a screencast right now. A fairly easy tool for this is Screencast-O-Matic. The free version allows you to record 15-minute videos showing some or all of your screen. The only catch is that Screencast-O-Matic will display a brand watermark in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, but this usually doesn't interfere with the purpose of your video. Screencast-O-Matic has an option to buy a pro version of their recorder app, which removes that watermark and gives you some nifty editing tools as well. To get the recorder, I go to screencast-o-matic.com and click Start Recording. On the following screen, I can download a launcher that allows me to open the recorder from their website, and right now it's working to detect whether that launcher is already on my computer or not. But I prefer to download the full app, which means I don't need to reach the recorder through a web browser after this instance. I'll click the link and follow the steps to download the recorder. It'll download an installer file, and it's a familiar process after that to install Screencast-O-Matic on my PC. Screencast-O-Matic will ask me which version I'm using. In this case, I'll choose Free Recorder to get the recorder started. I now have Screencast-O-Matic's recorder open on my PC with Microsoft Word open behind it. So, for example, I could record a video demonstrating how to use a feature in Word, such as adding page numbers or footnotes. With the free option, Screencast-O-Matic's recorder gives you some very basic controls. This black and white hash marked box shows you the area that will be recorded when I press record. I can click the center icon or the edge of the box to move it around. At the corners and at the edges are handles that I can click and drag to resize this recording area. To record the entire screen, I click Size on the menu and choose Full Screen. In this menu, I'll also make sure that the recorder is drawing audio from the microphone of my choice. Screencast-O-Matic can also be used for webcam recordings, and I can even combine a webcam recording of myself as well as a recording of my screen. But in this case, I'll just stick with my screen. I click record, and I get a few seconds to get ready, and then the recording begins. While I'm recording, I can pause and resume. Simply hit the pause button, and it brings up this little toolbar. Hit record again, and it resumes the recording where it left off. This is handy for several reasons. For example, if I don't want to record when an application is performing a long process that doesn't require my input, or I just need to refind my place in a narration script that I'm reading from. I can even preview what I've recorded so far. Just press this play button on this toolbar. If I didn't like the last bit of clip that I recorded, say for example everything after the first five seconds, I can click the recorder button from this paused screen at the point in the counter where I want to re-record after, and Screencast-O-Matic will then overwrite whatever I had after that five seconds with new video.
To finish recording, I press pause again and then click Done. This takes me to a window where I can review the recorded clip and decide if I want to use it. If it looks and sounds good, I can make a video. The simplest way is to make a video file that I can upload to the web, for example, in my Google Drive, and that way I can share it with other people. I'll click Save As, Video File. The recorder gives me some basic options. I want to name it with a unique file name. Then choose where on my computer I want the file to go and I usually put files like this on my desktop. It makes it easier for me to find. Then I can choose how I want the cursor to be displayed in my video, my mouse cursor. I can even leave the cursor out if I wanted to. I could say keep the cursor as it is or I could highlight the cursor. If I choose highlight cursor Screencast-O-Matic puts a halo, a yellow ring, around the cursor whenever it's moving. This is ideal for tutorial videos. With that, I just click Publish, and Screencast-O-Matic creates my video file. If it was a very long video, this process may take a while, so be patient. 